Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. We are picking up, not exactly from where we left off in the last episode, let's get rid of this guy real quick here, because he is being an annoying boy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. We are picking up quite a bit from where we left off in the last episode, because I have been doing a bunch of work. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trading a lot. But... It's not only that, we have unlocked some very, very interesting trades. So let me start off over here before I forget. Um, one of you, I don't remember who, I'll put the comment on the screen right now. Um, they said that if I didn't get what I wanted, I could basically remove the workstation and replace it and they would get the job, like they would get their job removed and then they would get their job back and they would have new trades. So I did that with the librarian, it took quite a while. But finally I got a mending book trade for only 12 emeralds. That's not too bad if you ask me. So 12 emeralds and a book and we can get a mending book in return. That is beautiful. And if we go over here, I have seven books here. I can get more and 45 emeralds. So that means we can already get like four Mending books? Right? Nope, wait, wrong calculations. At least three, which is pretty amazing. Also, I've been trading with these farmers and they unlocked some new trades here. So six pumpkin for an emerald, one emerald for some pumpkin pie for this guy. And this guy, yeah, it's the same one emerald for an apple. So I've been doing for some trades, but another very interesting one, which is this guy. And I'm really excited about that. It will be probably the next episode we do. I found this trade. So first I traded a bunch of paper with him. Then he unlocked this one, glass pane. That's not too bad. So I smelted a bunch of glass and made it into glass pane and did a bunch of trading. I think I had like two stacks of this and traded it all with him. Um, and then this unlocked. So, okay, so this didn't unlock from that, but we got an ocean explorer map. That's pretty cool, but this is even cooler. Woodland Explorer map. So if we buy this, from my understanding, we will be able to find a woodland mansion. This is pretty exciting, and I think we will probably be doing that in the next episode, or in the next next episode, because I have two things that I made a conflict with myself, which one to pick. But um, it will come in a very, very future um, episode. Also, I unlocked these. Yeah, not that great. Maybe the gold, but yeah. Yeah, you're still good. Hello there, I am from the future because I messed up this part of the video so I need to redo it. So here I am from the future. Anyways, what I wanted to show you was this new machine that I have created behind me. You see, at least one of you in the comments in the previous video noticed that there were a lot of these green guys, the nitwits. And you said that there were quite a, quite a lot of them and they're basically taking up space in the village and they can't really do anything so you suggested you know to remove them in a way and so I decided to get together do some math and all that good stuff and I have created this beautiful machine right here so you see we can't just kill them we can't just kill them first of all if we just kill them with our swords like that then we would basically have a big issue because they would spread that news to the others and yeah, bad, bad, very bad. So I have created this teleportation device and basically, yeah, I can't show you the technology. It is basically too complicated for you to understand. So yeah, I'm just going to show you here. We got this guy here, which is open the doors here. We got this guy here. He really wants to go to a better place because yeah, they want to get out of this cruel zombie world where each night they have a potential of dying and maybe even turning into a zombie themselves and eating human flesh. That is not good. So yeah, yeah, I made this machine for them and uh, they will be teleported into a better place. So this leader lever will activate the teleportation device and you will see it in action right now. Here we go. Yeah, it sounds painful, but trust me now. Yep, there we go. Yep, you see the smoke particles right there. He has been teleported. We can disable it. And now when we go in here, you can see that he is completely gone. Now at a better place. 
So that is just a little creation that I wanted to show you. Now, we will continue with the rest of the video. Enjoy. Anyways, with all that done, I think that it is time for me to sleep real quick so we can get back to base, because that is where we will be spending the time today. Um, I will be doing more trading with these guys and get a bunch of mending books and enchant armor and so and such so, because he's pretty beaten up. Um, but yeah, that's gotta be that. And I hope these guys will breed. I will probably walk around and farm their wheat as well and give the bread and yeah, make make them breed some some more villagers because uh, we we need some more professions here. Anyways, I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna show you. Uh, yeah, what we're gonna be doing today, so stay tuned, I will be right over there. Actually, I'm gonna pop right back in here, um, on the way back, because as you can see, I have marked out some areas here, uh, with some cobblestone pillars over here, over here and over here, and also at the mountain itself, down at the bottom there, and one way up there, and the reason why I have marked these areas is because I need to make a staircase. Um, I'm planning on making a staircase going, yeah, basically up here, kind of like what we have going at our base. I actually have three projects planned for the base. I don't know if I'm going to be recording them because they're mainly, mainly building. I will be making a staircase down here. And there is also, let me get over here, a staircase I want to build right over here. Come on, come on, walk faster. <laughs> So you see, we got this one here, right? I want another one going, uh, eh, eh, nope, okay, hold on. I want another one going out here and then down there so I can get up to my base when I come running from that area over there. And I don't know if you guys want to see that. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me build those staircases. Um, I also have a plan for a bridge for a bridge going from our back door, from our cave here, um, going from here to the nether portal. So let me know if you want, to, if you guys want to see that as a, like a building episode. Um, yeah, let me know. Anyways, we are home. We're home, we're home, we're home. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, this is the area we're going to be working at today. This storage area is hideous. <laughs> it is pathetic. I hate it, it is ugly and disgusting, and I'm gonna be tearing it down. We will be making a new storage system today. And no, it's not going to be automated or redstoned or anything, um, but it will be an improvement, trust me on that. It will be a huge improvement. I think we will even have chests to spare in this little area. And I used a lot of time to gather a bunch of leather. I literally sat there, um, for a very, very long time at the cows, breeding them, going into AFK, breeding them, going into AFK, breeding them, going into AFK, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, so I could kill them and, uh, yeah, get, get, uh, get, get, get the leather I needed. So I'm gonna place those right there, and I'm just gonna have to break these and just transfer all this stuff. Oh, wait, give me that back and transfer all of this stuff from these chests into these. So that is going to be an interesting thing for me to do. So I'm going to cut out right here and be right back once I have pretty much emptied all of these chests, which is going to be a nightmare. So let me do that and I will be right back with you. Stay tuned. All right, that is all the chests removed into these three double chests here. And as you can see, this looks horrible. It, it, it simply looks horrible. I, I mean, it. look at it, horrible. <laughs> so let us get to work. Uh, where did, oh no, where do I have my wood? Uh, I need those. Okay, so we're gonna buy a, we're gonna start off by making some birch pillars right here. We're just gonna jump straight into it. Um, I have a picture reference picture from a creative test thingy. So I kind of know what I'm doing. Kinda. Do I ever know what I'm doing? I'm not sure. Anyways, we're going to place these right here. Then we're going to add like a little thingy, thingy thing, thing up there. 
right there. We're gonna put torches here, here, because there can't be torches at that. There we go. Sweet! Right there. Okay, perfect. This wall will be pretty simple, because we will basically be putting a bunch of barrels here. I'm just gonna, yeah, block that off. Um, no. We're basically gonna be putting a bunch of barrels on that wall, because I want to. And, oh dear, I need more. I may or may not have forgotten how to make them. Uh, this could be interesting. Let's see, where is all my wood? I have no more leftover woods. This is not good. Okay, guess we'll use that. Okay, keep this interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure this is the recipe, right? Yep, okay, good. Need four more of those. Eh, 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 eh. Yay! Had just enough. Perfect. Okay, put that away, and boom, boom, done. That is that side done. We need some item frames, but that is that side done. This is going to be the more interesting one, and it requires a little bit more work, because we need to excavate this out um, right here. So excavate two blocks in, into the wall here, and uh, what is this? Eh. Okay, that goes up. I'm going to just um, yeah keep going for now. This is going to be replaced as well. We gotta get the floor out. Uh, we can replace this for now. It looks disgusting, but don't worry, we'll fix it. We will fix it. Uh, just fill that up. We don't need that. Perfect, sweet, sweet, sweet. Let us get the bird slabs and get that too, because I need more. I don't want to convert too much of it, because I use a lot of time getting these logs, so want to use it carefully, but we'll need it eventually anyway, so I mean, it's fine. Now we got to get rid of this, because that is the flooring, and basically why I'm paying, taking these these walls down is because the chests are not full blocks, and as you can see, you can look through them, and that is not nice, and I want it to look nice, so yeah. That is what I will be doing, and that is why I'm doing it. Let us put that bag in right here, because we can cheat a little. Uh, we need some more full blocks, obviously. Put here. And let me know down in the comments, actually, right now. Do you like what Jamie built like this, or would you prefer if I just skipped it out? Let me know. It would be interesting. Uh, actually, we do need this gone as well. Because double chests need to be able to open, and can only do that if we put some slabs or something up there. So, gotta do that. Okay, you know what? Just convert that entire thing. We'll need it eventually, it's fine, put that there, and then this wall right here. But yes, let me know if you think this kind of building is interesting, or if I should just cut it out. I'd be interesting to know your thoughts on it. Um, okay, now just place slabs up here, like so, so that double chests can open. And that's pretty much that. Now. I just need a bunch of chests <laughs> pretty much going like that all the way up here and all the way over. So how about I take this out, put this in here. I have two trapped chests, but I don't want to use those. Get those. Eh, eh. Don't I have another? Oh, I have more there. Perfect. Just fill them out like that. They have to be trapped. Sorry, they don't have to be trapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them trapped. Um, and yeah, they just gotta they just gotta, just gotta be double chests. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, get more of these. And as you can see, this is going to require a bunch of wood. So I'm going to make a bunch of chests, and I will be right back with you. So stay tuned once again. <laughs> oh dear, now I'm messing everything up. Oh no. Come on, come on, I got this, I got this. And now I'm just missing the tricky ones here where I actually have to put this wall down again, bring it down and do that, otherwise it will be impossible to get it into the way that I want them to be. Okay, perfecto. That is looking a lot smoother already. Even if we didn't put iron frames or anything, it looks a lot smoother, but we're not done yet. Give me my sticks and give me even more sticks more sticks please thank you because we need 
Uh, let me just count here, I said 4, 12, 33 iron frames. I'm pretty sure I'm remembering correctly. If not, oh well. So 33 iron frames. Yes, that is a lot, but we do require it. So put one on each and every barrel, like so. And put one on each and every chest. Oh no, no, no. Give me, thank you. Yay, I remembered correctly. Cool. Now comes the tedious part. I have to not only put all the stuff in where they're supposed to be, I also need to get items to show like that is mob drops. Oh dear. No, 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 no. I hate when they do that. There we go. So, for example, now I need to go in and take all what is what I deem mob drops, like that, string, rotten flesh, gunpowder has its separate one, and yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a little bit tedious, but um, I think I'll be able to do it, and I think this part I'm actually going to make into a time lapse, just because why not? Also, this chest will be going. Don't worry. That is why there's some extra barrels over here. We actually won't use the entire storage system, but um, yeah, we'll use it the best we can. <laughs> or at least the way that I thought was doing it the best way. Uh, let me get some of this dirt here. And yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for I don't know how long. And yeah, I will be back. Once I'm done, um, hopefully I'll have every item that I need here to show in the item frame, but we'll see. Anyways, enjoy the time lapse. Starting in 3, 2, 1, start. And there we go. That is the new storage system. And I like it already. <laughs> These two were actually not part of my design because I think I had forgotten them. So yeah. But anyways, I think you can I think you can see the 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 thing that I have gone for here. Um put those in there, put the put in. So yeah, so basically this will be logs, this will be planks, this will be stairs and slabs, this will be anything other than these categories that are wood. Everything nether related, this will be end related, so that is why there's nothing there right now. Stone related, and then I just thought that we wouldn't have that many wooden slabs and, sorry, stone stuff, so might as well just plop it all into one. One for sandstone, sand, and uh, yeah, red sandstone. And these two are, these six are empty. Um, then we got another one for redstone, then we got one for wool and dye, another one for mob drops, and is any of this mob drop B stuff? No, not really. Uh, we got one for dirt, we got one for nature stuff, we got one for terracotta, and then over here is the diorite, uh, the andesite, granite, sorry, and andesite, and the uh, diorite. We got rails, we got gunpowder, I just want gunpowder for itself because when we get an light try, we'll need gunpowder for yeah, fireworks as such. Horse armor, saddles, swords, tools. I hate when they do that. You don't need to break them. I could just... Yeah, anyways. Uh, bows and crossbows. Let's just do that. And then up here we have like 
the other tools and stuff like flint and steel, shears, fishing rods, shields, bucket, uh, banner, because I didn't know where else to put them actually, they don't, shouldn't be in there. And I think I'm just making, gonna make these into like miscellaneous chests. So this one will be, this one, this one will be the first miscellaneous chest. When things doesn't really have a home, it might get one in the future up here. Could make one dedicated for ocean monuments, but I'm not planning on going into that many. So yeah, just pop it all in here. Um, so yeah, everything that does not have a home, it will be plopped in there. We could actually, we could actually make a dedicated item for miscellaneous stuff. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? What items should we give it? I have before given it a like fireworks star. But yeah, I don't really feel like doing that right now. Anyways, I'll I'll just leave it. I'll just remove the item. Item frames. There we go. Perfect. Shows that there's nothing there and we have item frames in there if needed. The quartz I think I might get their own chest just because it's gonna fill out a lot of the nether chest um but i guess i guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there let's just plop it in there like so yeah there we go it will it is going to fill up a lot of space in here but i mean we'll cross that bridge when we get there then and i will probably do something like this in all of the different chests like organize put it in rows and stuff so i can find it even easier so yeah but that's pretty much done i'll do that off camera though i'll do that off camera not doing this video because uh, that's gonna take a very long time and that will be boring to watch so not gonna do that right now that will have to wait we still have our armor stands of course at this crafting table can kind of go i kind of need to upgrade to some lamps don't i <laughs> i should probably get to that fairly soon but anyways, that is that done. I'm not sure how long this episode is. Um, these need to go to my to my um, mob grinder, which I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I showed you that in the last episode. I do hear a watery trader outside, so let us maybe just go up here and see if he's around, or if he died. Let's see. Uh, nope, he's still alive. Just watch out for creepers. Okay. Do we have anything useful? Pumpkin, magenta. A lot of tropical fish? Not really. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, and all these birch trees are here because I need birch wood for the bridges and that's the bridges, the bridge and the staircases. Um, also, just before I end the episode, I need you guys' opinion. I need an automated sugarcane farm, and I know how to make one, um, but I just need to know where to put it. And you see, I will need sugarcane for myself for firework rockets in the future but i also need it for trading with villagers so should i build it like right there it would probably fit in right there actually the build would probably fit in right there but then i don't know should i have it here or should i have it at the village where i will be trading as well the oh that looks so creepy are you kidding me they just stand there looking. No, that no. That is not okay. But that's kind of bad. Because if I kill that guy with my sword, I will get bad omen. Which will spawn a raid, but that city has a fence. They shouldn't be able to break that. Ah, I think those guys will stick around. Hmm. That is so creepy. I hate it. <laughs> I like that, but I also hate it. <laughs> I don't know. Should we... I think I'm I'm planning on cutting this episode right here, right now. And then we'll probably take on these guys in the next one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, enable those notifications, share this video with your friends if you really enjoyed it, blah, 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 subscribe, and join stuff below, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, so all that stuff is down in the description. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. You guys are gonna be dead <laughs> in next episode.
Anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.